Move here at four. Neighbors are rallying together to support three men who lost everything when their humble park home went up in flames. Kelly Davis is here with that story. Ben and Lourdes, this fire was classified as non-criminal, but the tenants are actually wanting law enforcement to reopen this investigation. They're pointing fingers at a former roommate. If it had spread more and there had been more smoke and they were asleep, then this could have been fatal. Ben Talley got a call around 6 a.m. Sunday that his house was up in flames. I raced down there. I was back in five minutes and the, the fire had taken the house as a total loss. He lived in this West Humboldt Park home with three roommates. One woke up to the fire alarm and climbed up to the roof. The other tried to put out the flames but collapsed from smoke inhalation. So they had rescued Darius down and uh, Kyron was put on, put on a stretcher. And, uh, breathing apparatus. The fire destroyed the house and everything inside. Tally lost several pets, including cats, a guinea pig, and his frog. But his two turtles survived. I haven't been able to really feel what I'm really going to end up feeling about it. It's just uh, a lot of numbness, and then you just start remembering things that are gone. Fire officials confirmed someone started the fire, but there's no evidence that it was intentional. They turned the investigation over to police, who tell us the case is closed. The fire was not criminal, but Tally questions the timing of it. I don't want to speculate as to the cause, but it was just abnormal. Tally says 30 minutes before the fire started, police served his former roommate with a restraining order and made him leave the house. So he's urging law enforcement to reopen the investigation. So I've been trying to talk to the right people. Lots of people have been giving me uh, help and advice. Um, calling organizations, calling the police department. He's also rallied the community's support. Neighbors and community groups are chipping in to get the men the resources they need to get back on their feet. It's really hard waking up in the morning um, because it's like before any thoughts rush in, you, you go to look for what you used to have. Situations like this, whether it's the good or the bad, it just shows who people really are. West Loop Community Organization is collecting donation, donations for the three men. There's also a GoFundMe account set up to help them. We have linked both of those on our website, WGN.com. Thank you, Kelly.